graffiti, graffiti, man. Graffiti is uh, something that authorities uh, doesn't want. It, it's vandal. Graffiti is vandal. There is a different. Graffiti is uh, vandal. Street art is, uh, for example, as a job or something like that. I Copenhagen city and um, as a young as a young kid uh, my cousins and stuff uh, always had friends who were uh, highly involved in the in hip-hop culture and uh, graffiti was definitely uh, part of it um, as I grew up I had more friends who were into graffiti so it was um, it was uh, inevitable that I was gonna get into graffiti at one point I suppose especially since I'm I'm an artist already <laughs> Like doing street art like in the 95 and then like, it was more like kind of uh, like it was just basically to entertain myself you know like to like color the streets and yeah it was also like a way to like kind of get out of this like uh, boring like nightlife we have a mold tattoo so we should like meet up at night and go paint you know but into it like uh, I was like the only guy doing it it's quite crazy, like, yeah, like we're like 400,000 people, and yeah. My own kind of like social kind of street art, you know, the stuff that I like tackle like social, social uh, problems, I don't know, social, whatever you want to call them, like uh, with a twist, you know, like things which bother me basically in society, and I like uh, kind of uh, play around with those. And that's how I actually started, you know, like, but I started doing, like, uh, vandalism, basically. And then, like, uh, kind of evolved towards something more, like, uh, sensible, you know, like, so I knew I could, I realized I could use, like, street art, you know, like, to, like, whatever I could use, like, this pavement to actually portray, like, a message. Well, I don't know if there is a local street art scene. There is like a very small local street art scene, you know, very small, especially compared to the road, you know. Uh, yeah, it's tiny. Yeah, I spent like uh, most of my life skateboarding. Uh, then we, in the streets, then we built the first skate park on the island. Um, uh, 
and we've like created, we've done most of our events at the skate park. It's the only place on the island which is like it's the only legal spot on the island. We're trying to bring more legal spots on the island. Uh, but yeah, it's for me skateboarding is kind of what triggered off street art. Um, graffiti, graffiti was an an element of hip hop. Is an element of hip hop. And uh, first, back then, I used to hear a lot of stuff like Tupac, Biggie, and then I ended up uh, spraying. Adjustable tactical rapping, I smack a faggot, telling me he could only speak when he's spoken to. I keep it bottled up and open up in the fucking vocal. For example, authorities don't want, uh, doesn't want graffiti or somebody skateboarding. Like, for example, if they skate on other people's property or they paint. No, they don't want that shit. Men are men, JP, Lee, Russ, Sean, Dan, V, J, Riles, Luke and Nick, Drew and Max, Luke and Matt, Mike and Guy. We've seen improvement. A lot of people, Maltese people need to open their mind. Open their mind and see and appreciate. Start to appreciate these kind of stuff. For like uh, skateboarding is sports. Graffiti is art. Your back out. I heard there's been a drought of their real shit, so I came to kill it. In the process, I suggest you quit. Comparable to Moses because of how you split. Malta needs uh, legal wars, much more. In each local, each local, uh, local place, I uh, we need. My ideas tend to be a little bit more on the goofy side. I'm, I'm kind of a goofy person, I guess, and you know, I like to. I like to poke fun at things. And sometimes, sometimes uh, on rare occasion, I think I'm coming more or less close to doing stuff like that. It's like a little bit uh, more serious on subject matter. Uh, you know, life is not always uh, fun and games. You know, sometimes it, you know, can be a little bit rough. I still. Uh, I still skate as, as much as I can when I don't have um, certain injuries and stuff like this. Um, how it relates to street art, I don't think very much, but I think the thought process is just about the same. Like uh, you basically look at things that are mundane and you know you use them, um, and you you know you tr try and. You know, you utilize uh, things which, uh, you know, normally people would not see. The local scene, um, with street art, it's, it's evolving. There are a few people who are, who are pushing it forward, and very few people. I mean, there are not very many... I don't know, there's a very, very big problem with creativity in general with, with, with Malta. Like, it's not very, very much encouraged in schools and stuff like this. And um, that is a bit, big problem because, like, uh, I think everything comes down to an educational level. Um, I mean, the, the institutions that be, like, within, within art, especially within um, figurative art, is pretty... Uh, pretty disturbing um, as far as it's going right now it's a lot better than it used to be like many years ago but like right now it's it still has like a long way to go yeah it's very young um, there's a lot of promise I think as far as like the art scene in general I think this art scene like you know street art scene is the one that's gonna be pushing it um, a little bit forward oh! Oh! 